Hey guys. So, I just found out I'm going home tomorrow. Yeah. I'm pretty excited. I think I'm ready. It's starting to get a little bit like, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. This is not a dance. I'm begging for help. I'm screaming for help. Please just let me out. But yeah. I've still got like all my nano blocks here, but I started taking stuff home yesterday because we were talking about leaving tomorrow, yesterday, and yeah, definitely confirmed with my doctor today that tomorrow's the day. Yay, I get to go home, stay with mom and dad for as long as I want, and just go from there gonna keep up the things that I've been trying to do in here and get a routine going at home they said that's one of the most important things so gonna walk my dog Pookie in the mornings and do yoga and then during the days it looks like I'll be practicing my musical instruments doing art and playing games and playing nano block, playing with my nano blocks and streaming on Twitch and doing, having at least a few months of um, recovery time at home with mum and dad. So just because I'm getting out of the hospital doesn't mean that I'm fully recovered. It just means that I'm well enough to go home. And some people say that the real, well, not battle, but like, the real work and recovery starts at home so I'm looking forward to hopefully getting better each day by a little bit like some days one step forward two step back two steps forward one step back but that's pretty normal and over a few months we should see a lot more progression but I've seen a bit of progression since I've been in here like I can smile I'm not down all the time so there's ups and downs instead of just complete down misery so definitely looking forward to being at home with mum and dad and my animals Wednesday and Pookie so I'll keep you updated on the journey as I'm home too and we will continue the recovery diaries. Um, I'll show you all the nano blocks I've done so far. I'm gonna do probably one more tonight while I'm here, but these are the ones I've done so far. Okay, so we got some Pokemon on this side. We got a little Bulbasaur, we got Eevee, Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon, and I've got a little rainbow one there. That's my Prideon. <laughs> That's my Atlas Bears. Charmander, Luna, um, Tails, Amy, Sonic, Knuckles, Shadow, and um, Dr. Robotnik or Eggman. So that's the entire Sonic collection. And then we got Dorymon at the back. I got a big Bulbasaur there. He's really cute. We've got Brown Bear, Pink Hedgehog next to Bulbasaur. And some more Pokemon on the side. So we've got Snorlax, Caterpie, and Farfetch'd, which I found out last night while I was streaming. Farfetch's name in Japanese translate to convenient meal because when you cook him, when you catch him and cook him, he's already got a leak <laughs> to go in the in the soup or whatever. <laughs> so that's my little collection, and I learned something new last night about Farfetch'd, and yeah. I've still got a giant Totoro to do. I started sorting him the other day but then I got I got like a little bit through it and then a big chunk of the side fell off and I was like uh, I'll do that one when I get home. He's 1,800 pieces and 23 centimeters tall so big big one. Bigger than any of the ones I've got in here. But yeah I've still got my heroes 
Betty, my grandma, and Mike Miller. So yeah, tomorrow's the day and I will continue to keep you all updated along the way. Thanks for watching, as always. For those guys who have been keeping updated with the journey, don't forget to like, comment what you think, if you've got anything about your own healing that you want to share. If you want to keep updated, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Yeah, I'm releasing a new song this week too to go on the album Music for Deities. And in a few days, the first song from that album should be live on Spotify. There's already eight, li eight tracks live on YouTube. So that is in the playlist that I will link at the end of this video. And yeah, love you guys. So much love to you all. I hope you're all doing well. And yeah.